I've got an internet crush. I'm so happy with how this badge is turning she's out. She's a celebrity, but she's taken. So can I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight is a very exciting day because we are throwing an Olive Garden party. And this all started because I keep seeing this lasagna at Costco and it's like a big two pack in the freezer section. And I wanted it so badly, but we just like don't have the freezer space for it. And I was like, I feel like we should invite some friends over who can come eat it with us. Well, they're coming over. I can't just serve them a lasagna, right? Like I have to make them maybe like a salad. And I was like, hmm. What if I just like really leaned into it and turn it into an Olive Garden night? So that's what we're doing. I'm going to heat up this lasagna. The boy is making a salad that's using like the Olive Garden dressing. I made some breadsticks yesterday that are actually so pillowy and very good. I'm also going to do a Zuppa Toscana, but I'm going to try to make it meatless because the lasagna already has Italian sausage and beef. And I just feel like it's too much meat. So I got this. It's our Crater Joe haul for tonight. I picked up these vegan Italian style sausageless sausage to use in the Zuppa Toscana. I have never had these before, so we'll see how it goes. It's currently 6.30 and our friends are coming at 7, so we are definitely running behind schedule. What's new? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. have seven people coming and I feel like this is six serving. I'm feeling a little bit crispy this morning. We ended up going to bed at like 3 a.m. People left around 2.15, which is very, very late for us. Like we normally do not stay up or stay up this late. And today the boy is basically gone all day to go golfing. He didn't eat breakfast before he left, which was a really nice touch. And usually our routine is like every two weeks we will clean the apartment and we switch off between the kitchen and the bathroom. So one week I do the kitchen, the next week I do the bathroom. And as his parent, it is my turn to do the kitchen. And I think like after cleaning, I'm going to go run errands. And if I have time, which hopefully I will, I do want to make one prep thing for a separate club in two weeks. So hopefully today, like making uh, either a pork tang yuan or a taro miso cake. Always gotta keep my head up. Always gotta keep my eyes up. Smoking dope got my eyes low. All the drugs kill my idols. Everybody got me fed up. Reminisce when shit was better, but was it really ever better? But then I feel like this forever. Always gotta keep my head up. Always gotta keep my eyes up. Smoking dope got my eyes low. All the drugs kill my idols. Everybody got me fed up. 
Reminisce when shit was better Or was it really ever better? Or did I feel like this forever? Step outside When's the last time I stepped outside? I was probably feeling like I wanna die Around the last time I said I'm fine When she asked if she hurt me, I Couldn't help but fly back in time Felt like every pathway aligned Deja vu, I felt days combined Deja vu, I felt days combined I escaped the loop and watched it all unwind And I saw it straight for the first of time In a form and shape that was by design Felt like tunnel vision when you get revived Like I seen the light, like I opened blinds Like, mm-hmm, I could feel the shine I was looking forward and could see behind, yeah this ain't what I want, ain't what I want, is what I want. I have finally finished all my grocery shopping for the day, but now I am super hungry. Um, so I'm going to make some like rice and natto. With some cucumbers, kimchi. My goal today is to prep some pork tangyuan for my supper club that's happening in two weeks. Tangyuan are these Chinese mochi like dumplings. On the outside you have a layer of glutinous rice flour, so it has that like chewy mochi like texture. And then on the inside you have a filling. Usually the filling is sweet, so things like red bean paste, black sesame paste, peanut butter are all very common. Sometimes you'll find them plain and those ones can sometimes be served in a sweet broth or sometimes in a savory broth. I think serving it in a savory broth with like cabbage and stuff is part of Hakko cuisine. These ones are a little bit different because they're actually filled with ground pork. I have no idea what the origin is. All I know is that growing up in Shanghai, there was somebody who sold savory pork tangyuan on my mom's street. And since coming to America, she's only ever found one place that served it. They're so good and I prefer them way more than I do the sweet ones. They're probably one of the most unique things that I serve at my supper club. To make the dough, I am using glutinous rice flour. The pork filling is going to be very similar to like a Shanghainese pork wonton filling. Ground pork, Shaoxing wine, soy sauce to season it, some scallions, ginger, cornstarch, oh and white pepper. with how this batch is turning out. Sometimes I feel like I have trouble with the dough where it's like a little bit too dry or a little bit too wet. And I feel like I've gotten the technique of rolling the tang yuan down more. So this one, I don't know, you can't see it. I don't know why it won't focus. This one is perfect. The shape is pretty freaking round. The dough is nice and smooth. I am very happy.
to get a stool. They're done. They're so cute. That we didn't finish. Well, we don't. Good. I don't want to watch it. Mm. Mm. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him. Yeah. Stand it. I look at you. Prisoner and he's in trouble. Don't let him talk his way out of it. Oh, cool, we made the dashi from scratch with Bonito and Kombu. Good. Mm. Have you got any? We need to figure out a way through this without someone else getting hurt. Look. Yeah. Look. 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 Look.